Welcome back to Mon Me Beauty. Today we will be doing our monthly Ipsy versus Birch Box. So without further ado, let's get started. In keeping with our tradition, we're going to start with Birch Box first. So this subscription service costs $10 a month. I will link that down below for you. It is not an affiliate link, just a link to Birch Box. Um, and every month they give you a card that tells you the theme for the month and this month is uh, pretty mighty and then on the back it gives you a list of all of the products that you were sent for the month and what it costs for the full size. So the first item out of the birch box that I will be keeping this month is something that they sent me before. Actually I think they sent me this in their very first uh, box that I got. Um, this is the Oblifica Professionals Sea Berry Hair Serum. This stuff is amazing. And when we did our first full size or full fail video, and I will also link that video down below for you as well as up in the cards for you, um, I mentioned that this stuff is fantastic. I absolutely love it. On days that I, um, you know, shampoo my hair or just wet it when I'm in the shower and I just want it to air dry, I'll put this in it. And I have very, very thin, uh, very sparse hair on my head. So I can't use anything that's too heavy, especially oils and serums. But this stuff doesn't make my hair get weighed down. It really gives my hair body and volume. The only difference is that the first bottle that I got was in an orange container. And this is in a purple, but still pretty. <laughs> first item I'll be keeping is the Bioderma Hydrobo H2O micellar water. The full size retails for $16.90 and this product claims to hydrate your face and get rid of the most stubborn makeup that you could possibly have on. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this especially because whenever I have mascara on or really stubborn liquid eyeshadow or eyeliner, it'll, I think this will be really helpful because my mascara does not come off my lashes at all without a fight. The next item that I will be keeping from Birchbox this month is the Beauty Protector Protect and Volume Volume Spray. Uh, this is new to me. I've never tried this out before. The uh, full size retails for $23.50 um, and on the back of it it actually tells you what the claims are. Uh, weightless body, increases volume without stickiness, beautiful shine without weight, Create soft, smooth, full texture, thermal protector for heat styling, no buildup, paraben free, and vegan. So that's quite a lot of claims on there. Um, again, like I told you with the Seaberry Serum, I can't use anything that's going to weigh my hair down or that's too thick or too greasy or oily. So I'm interested to see how this works and yeah, I'll let you guys know. Okay, the next thing I will be keeping is Cargo Swimbolts Water Resistant Bronzer in medium. The full size retails for $29 and it claims that it is a long lasting formula that is rain proof, sweat proof, and tear proof. Basically utter, utterly butch proof. And when you swatch it, it is very, very creamy. It is like a golden color. And swatching it on your arm, it is very, very smooth. Now I wouldn't necessarily use this as a bronzer, for me, I'll just use it as an eyeshadow because it is so smooth and golden-y. The next item that I'll be keeping from Birchbox, and this is our final item, is the Arrow Enhance Waterproof Eyeliner. And I think the color is bright now. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, the full size of this is $16. It's a little difficult to get the cap off. Um, this is so creamy and smooth, like it's, it just feels like butter going on. Um, so that's swatched right there. It looks white on camera, but actually it's like a very pale, pale pink. So I will be interested to put this on my lower waterline, um, especially because I tear very easily down there. So there's very few products that I can actually put on my waterline. Um, and this is claiming to be waterproof. So hopefully, if it does cause my eyes to water a little bit more, it's still not going to budge. Okay, now on to our Ipsy bag. So this is the Ipsy bag for this month. And with this subscription, they send you a makeup bag instead of a box like Birchbox. You'll also find 
a card with the theme for this month. This month, the card also doubles as like a referral card. So um, they're encouraging you to now share this with your friends who also might enjoy Ipsy. And if any of your friends actually use the referral card and sign up for a new subscription, then you get uh, either a bonus gift or a bonus points towards a gift of your choice. So the card this month doubles. One of the first items that I'll be keeping out of the Ipsy bag this month is something I'm super duper excited about. Oh my goodness. So this is the Tarte Tartist Lip Paint. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what color it is. It says rosé on the bottle. So this is the color rosé. Um, I'm not sure if this is part of their, their new line. I know they launched um, a couple of liquid new liquid lipsticks recently. So this might be like a sample to see if you like the color, the formula, and then you can go ahead and purchase the full size. But that is the color swatched. It is so pretty, such a nice nude color. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to use this. And I swatched it and I'm so jealous. <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay, the first product I'm going to be keeping is the Air Repair complexion boosting moisturizer with hydraulic acid now I use a lot of moisturizers and primers so I'm really excited to try this for my night routine because I love my Laura Gather spackle moisturizing under makeup primer so I'm going to try this out for nighttime and see how that works the next product that I am keeping this month also something I am super duper excited about this is the Elizabeth Mott blending brush. Um, so I have quite a few fluffy brushes that I use for crease work. So to put color in and then to blend it. And then I also have a lot of fluffy brushes that I use just for blending, whether it be on the lid, up in the crease, up, up on the brow bone, doesn't matter, I use them to blend. The problem with the brushes that I do have is that even though they're really nice and fluffy and soft, they don't have any stiffness or body to them, if that makes any uh, sense. So when I go to blend them out, it's like I really have to be careful how I use it because if I apply too much pressure to the tip of the brush, then the hairs kind of splay out and they don't, it doesn't blend very well. This is soft, but it also has some stiffness and some body to it. So I think this will make my blend work a whole lot easier. The next product I will be keeping is the Dolce Freematic Eyeshadow. And the color is in 67 Marcilla. And it is a shimmer eyeshadow. Marisa. Marisha. And it is a shimmer eyeshadow. In the pan, it's like almost like a maroon color, but swatching it, it's coppery. It's not that pigmented upon swatching, but I am excited to keep on trying it out and see what I think. And the last product that I will be keeping from the Ipsy bag this month is the Model Co. or Model Company, I'm not exactly sure. I define crayon liner, and this is in the color black. Now, I did swatch this when we first got our Ipsy bag, and it just seems so dry and chalky. Um, even, you know, drawing on my hand, doing a swatch on my hand, it kind of tugs at the skin on my hand. And that skin is a lot more taut than the one that's on my eyelid. So I'm not at all excited to try this, but I am willing to, you know, give it a go and see how it works. Maybe it applies differently on the eyelid. I'm not exactly sure. Um, and it also doesn't seem very pigmented. It almost seems a little like patchy or it almost comes across across gray just with one swipe so I don't know I'm gonna try it and see how it works but I don't have very high hopes for this and that is it for this month's Birchbox versus Ipsy thank you so much for watching we very very much appreciate it let us know down in the comments box below did you get some of the same samples that we got from your Ipsy or your Birchbox? Or do you subscribe to a different uh, subscription, beauty subscription service? And what did you get for the month of March in those subscription services? Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. 
Thank you again so much for watching. Make sure you connect with us on Instagram under Mom and Me Beauty and with Emma under Emma underscore N underscore 2004. We post two beauty videos a week. On Mondays is Mom and Me Day and on Thursdays is either Teen Take or Mom Moment. We'll see you next time in our next Mom and Me video. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.